What is up, everybody? How's it going? Hopefully you guys are doing well. This is my next part of the God of War commentary series. And I'm going to be playing through the ending right here, and so let's get into it. We just announced that God Kratos will be the general of the army, and we are going to unite the realms right now. So let's do this. And I think... Uh, this has to be my favorite part in the game, um, just because it's so cool. General. Sir, general. Okay, not favorite part, but general. or favorite mini Sir. part, I guess you could call it. Hey, bud. Uh, general. <laughs> so so cool that they all call him general. Then we get the Tears Temple. We have not visited inside here at all in this game. This main area, we only got to see this in the past game because we never used it. We only used that one um, door. And then this part is really, really cool. I came to these lands to escape my past. A really good speech right here. Start a new life. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. Yes! <laughs> I'll explain more about that. The cost of vengeance. After this. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered enough. No matter the cost. This ends today. And then we hear the old God of War music play over this, and it's so, so cool. Might as well be. A big fat smile on my face. Personally, I didn't really like Freya's comment right here. It just ruined the moment. For Brock. Mm-hmm. Which for Brock. Right here. I love this. Watch what happens. And specifically listen to music. Chills. Ugh. Yes. It is time. Let's do this. But that scene right there. Yes, all the realms opened. It's time to go. They really pumped you up for this battle. Then we get the Asgard and see what's happening. You see the elves fighting. You see, like, every race unite. And then they're bringing down the towers. And if Odin goes after Niflheim next, they're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You gotta stop those war machines. So much happening. Look at all this. Crazy. Not an ideal start. This is so cool. We get to see Ingrid back. And it was interesting, it first belonged to Freyr. And Odin stole it. 
And I was like, no way, because no Odin didn't really, really mention that when he first met Ingrid. But again, it belonged to Freyr, and so he knows fully how to use it, and I guess we'll see it later, but it's so, so cool about the little detail. Fighting time. Let's go. Face the, the music really hits the scene, too, because it, it, it shows all the fighting that's happening. I blocked that, come on, whatever. But notice again how I have a little bit of um, damaged health. Well, first of all, uh, look at that. <laughs> I think that's Lo Loki right there in a, a wolf form. Or maybe it's Agrabah on the wolf, either way. Um, notice how I lo took a little bit of health and that I, I, um, I recover as I uh, do damage to people. The heck? Stab the guard. That's a really, really cool animation right there. I loved it. Won't take damage on me because I have invincibility right now for five seconds. He's really right on that one. Every realm is desperate to defeat Odin, no matter what the cost. Anyways, in that speech when he said that line, um, that's a line he pulled from the old God of War games. Because in order to achieve victory, you have to sacrifice whatever. No matter, you have to sacrifice everything and everyone. So I thought that was really, really cool. Because it, it just shows that he pulled the knowledge into this realm. And he truly knows um, the experience to win. And so if he's willing to sacrifice his troops, his warriors, his knowledge, everything about the battle, he, he will gain. Because um, it, it just shows that he, he has won in the past and he knows what cost it is to win. Boom! You're done. He's dead. Move on. And so I really like that line in his speech. It just it's so cool. That they brought back. Again, it's so cool. Just if you played all the God of War games, this is a culmination of everything. Everything he said, everything he did in all the God of, old God of War games, you see it here. And that's kind of like the, the fan appreciation they give. Edge. Throw him off the edge. The ain't here, your return from Valhalla as quickly as we kill them. And then we see the snake, which is really, really cool. There goes the Alpha in the enforcement. We are 
of running out of armies. Because um, that's what Atreus created back then when he visited the with Acrobota and put the soul into the snake. It's the same one. And I thought that was really, really cool. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. And let's make way to the Spartan Time Tower. Let's do it. Get a big fight here. Can use all my moves on this one. Kill him with the blades. Throw them off the edge. Love that quick return. Come on, I need the chance. Bring down the tower, he'll fly away. And then <laughs> you get the big wolf. <laughs> it's still so cool. Fenrir decided to come back into the fight. That's still so cool. Everything about this, it's really, really cool to see. Um, just because we have all the assets of what we had in the past and throughout this game. Let's keep moving. And then look at this. Very cool screenshot right there of this Sindri. But it's still, nonetheless, very, very cool to look at. I know, I'm late. And then we have this whole scene where um, a, a, a Sindri has really changed of who he was. And so it's very different because he's like very angry at them and it's the music brings it up um, in the light, you know? Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants. I thought that was really interesting, that Sindri is just very, very mad right now. Ragnarok finally came. With a grand entrance, just like um, the Marvel East Cinematic Universe one. And then I was like, what, you're gonna do something with this? What? Get to use us anymore. More or less what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. And then this is what's interesting, is that Kratos finally learns what his son is truly about, and how he wants to raise him as a Spartan. That's the only way he's known. And then, the thing is, Kratos realizes he can't raise him as a Spartan, it's not who he is. The mindset is very different, so he realizes that he has to give Atreus the emotion he needs. He can't shut it out, what he's been trained to do. And so it's very interesting, because it's different of what Kratos has trained him to do. He switched it up. Then the music plays right into this scene as well. Look at this. What are you doing? Son, listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. 
That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Hmm. Today, sir. Today. We will be better. Very, very, very powerful. Mm. What can we do? See the size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. The thing is also, this is very controversial because we win wars no matter what the sacrifice is. And so Kratos is rejecting that philosophy right here. But we will die seeking justice. And so he realizes he has to save people, but it might be at the cost of freedom. Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not my list before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does. Very, very cool. And then we have this uh, scene as Atreus. Sindri, be careful and stay behind me. And we see Sindri. I'm here to fight. Can I just say? No, you can't. Shut up and fight. <laughs> I need to deal with these people. So annoying. And then we get this, and he's trapped under a rock. And then we have the big guys not killing Sindri, but rather just beating him up. But whatever. Very, very cool. Turns into a bear, and the music is what makes this scene, too. The music is really fantastic in this game. I'll tell about more about that later. I like how we just get we get to play as the bear. It's very different. What? You want to thank you? No, I just want. I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies dude you're okay my mom was right about you all along you're a killer just like your father and you're here to kill us all no just odin <laughs> Sindri, go she's a friend friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep loki you're right you're right i i, I made some bad decisions 
And then there's not really much to say about this because, yeah, they're friends, and we it, there's not really many callbacks. It's just something new in the game, so it's kind of cool that you get to see this interaction between them and who truly, oh, who Odin really is, you know. And then she realizes that, but this whole scene is supposed to explain all that. Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem in front of him. And the Guardians. Your friend. Our family. Any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it... It has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? Through I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? Our family. With our Odin, we can be one. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. And then they have this tender moment between mother and daughter. Very, very cool. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. That's he not true. At what cost, you though? And plus, he's a big liar, <laughs> and I wish Atreus would have said something to them to realize that Odin can never keep his that promises. Let them get the grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Very, very cool. Finally. Very, very cool. Crazy, it's a tiny explosion that brings down the rest of the wall. Look at that, look at that. And it's also weird that no rubble hit them, which is really weird. That just fell straight down. That didn't really have any area of effect. He said it's just straight below it, but... BB was an implosion, not an explosion. I don't know. Now it's time to fight. More, more, more. Let's do this. Falls on him. Thought that was kind of cool. Then we go down here. Big fight scene. Let's do this. Careful, brother. You're covered in Bruce, you fight well. My dad taught me. That much is clear. Yeah, well, thanks. Sorry, he He's not. I know. Behind you. Watch out. Let's use this. This is a really tough fight. So, not really a tough one, but just it takes a while. And there's possibilities that will get hit a lot. Help us. The creature is not whole. 
What remains is incomplete. It did not fulfill its purpose. <laughs> I love that it just chops off the arms. That's a really cool animation. They didn't really do that in the last game. That's really cool that they had it here. He has done his part. The rest is on us. And then we have help from through it as well, which is really cool. Watch him explode. And we continue on. I love that I get support with the arrows from Atreus. It's so, so cool. Okay, are we gonna continue? There we go. Some of the big guys here. He keeps on saying that, it's so annoying. And the music here too is really very heavy. Because it's it's a culmination of everything. You're here to fight to the end. Bring it on. Personally, I love the combat in this game. I could literally spend like two hours just fighting this. It's so, so cool to see all this. Um, just the fighting and everything. The combat is just amazing. Um, that's why I love Surtur's Trials post-game, because I think they have one where it's like fight for like five minutes straight and don't die or something like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I love it. And then they get to this scene, and go. what happens? You realize Freyr's here. Yeah. Ragnarok won't listen. And Thor. Get back to your sister. You must hold back, Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just. Take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you, so I trust you. And then the school. I am done with you and your son. He has so much rage, and that's so cool to see it during this fight. No more fucking games. This time, I'm allowed to kill you. He's technically right. We do not need to do this. We do. It's what we are. The monsters, right? Can you? It won't be enough. Damn it! The last you can give change. Move it and stop it. Talking's over. Wait and die. I think I have the uh, heal build. You're what the old father made you. You can choose to. You are. <laughs> Two monsters against each other. So cool. Don't act like you know. 
And then we see his more enraged form. I love it. Just like Thor in the cinematic universe. It's a little bit harder because I don't have Atreus with me to shoot arrows to distract him, but it's still kind of cool. Come on, I blocked that. After the second part, look at this. This is cool. Tries to grab the hammer. <laughs> oh, I love it. Why did I use that move? Oh well. Everything was fine before Loki showed up. He almost convinced me. The thing was Heimdall was right about all this. He can predict the future. Had me believing things were changed. Listen to me. You have nothing I want to hear. Come on, come on, come on. Let's end this fight. Cool. I mean, that's awesome. I love it. I love the whole Thor fight because two monsters head to head with each other, kind of like Godzilla. And calm, you know. What the fuck are you waiting for? Your daughter. My son calls her friend. If you try to hurt her. <sighs> And Kratos really understands him, which I love. He can read him so well. So well. But what will you do now? We don't change. Kratos changed. Destroy us. Sort of. But he realizes they all need to change. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk. You don't think. I think you kill. It's a simple. This is really, concept. really cool towards the ending. Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. Not really a model father you are. No. No. 
And then I did not expect this at all. I, I was like, no, I really like Thor. I think everyone likes Thor, even though he's kind of a villain. Because he changed, and I was like, oh, dang, he's not going to be a father anymore. Rude. This was all their fault. <sighs> done this to us, to and then it family. just makes us want to hate Odin more now that he killed Thor. <laughs> now for the big fight. At least we have Atreus now. I'm forgetting his moves for temporarily. I'm focused more on him. Well, technically, you did that. You started this fight. No, no, no. Teamwork between me and Atreus right here. I love it, love it, love it. And then we get trapped, and I was like, huh, very, very interesting. It reminds me of the Incredibles. How, um, Syndrome trapped them like this, frozen in place. Exactly what you want. Not quite yet. Or not Syndrome, it's the uh, Incredibles 2, the other person. But you know what I meant. I spent and I was like, finally, the lasso. We picked it up when we met the norms. I'm like, finally, it has a use. As I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore. And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. <laughs> oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know. You've never loved anyone. Real time. Oh. 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 
Oh, yeah, again, yeah, I forgot he had the crows on his wrist, you know? I thought they were out doing something. And then we see the mask glow, finally, behind Atreus. Now that he's down in this basement. Father? Like, oh, is he gonna open it? You did it, Loki. No, 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 <laughs> no more fighting. Liar. No. None of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Roa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. And that's what Unfold Odin wants. The secrets. You kind of what Atreus wants. Atreus wants too. You were born for this. But he cares more about what choice he has made and what his father wants. Ask it. Ask it the question. Because his father knows best. is your choice son I trust you very very strong powerful words between both of them no, no, no! and then Odin is just very very sad and mad right now because he chased literally his entire life after that and then he just destroyed it. Time for a real fight, shall we? So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Chris? So have I! Too late for that! Finish them off, shall we? Don't forget me, old fuck up. What did you call me? That one for What I also like too is he gives you a fair chance to fight him and everything. Um, because even if you miss a shot, you can easily just go around and get him again and avoid it. Oh, this is cool. I killed the bird. That's awesome. I'll use my special more in this fight. Personally, I love the attacks of Odin because it's more about magic than anything. Time to take him down. 
Let's do this. Good teamwork. I love it. Just like the end of God of War 4 between Loki and Atreus and um, Balder. Oh my gosh, it was so, so amazing. And then we see the real ending here. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. He has a point. Choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? And I literally cry every time this scene happens. Sofna. And then we see exactly from the mural what happens. And then it's the idea of vengeance versus um, vengeance versus forgiveness, but I guess none of that matters now because Brock has or Sindri has truly changed based on the death of Brock. Just like in the MCU universe, boom, he just strikes right in the middle of that, um, Asgard. So, so cool. And then you're like, what's happening? And you know Atreus is injured, but you don't know, like, what's happening because you're just looking at Tra or Kratos. No matter what happens, I'll be with you. But your path is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Oh my gosh, I'd love it. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. That's so cool that Faye kind of spoke to him in, when he was unconscious. And he realizes the path he needs to take. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, I... So cool that we get to see that Valkyrie again. We're, 
Where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Hair. Okay, so we're going to end this part here. I know it's kind of a bad place to end, but um, I want to talk more about it in the next part. But yeah, you just saw the final battle, and um, I can't wait to get into it into the next part. So with lots of love and respect, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and bye.